just get the second half underway in those hoop shirts. Arsenal with uh, three games left in their quest for this championship. Peacock playing it forward, two at home against Manchester United and against Coventry City, one away from home against Sunderland. Ball for Smith, and now for Campbell's on the chase. Kevin Campbell chasing hard, and uh, this goal. Didn't panic at all the goalkeeper there. He's got but the strength of the man holding off the defender. Just get the first signs of Arsenal's anxiety showing. They're trying to hustle things along maybe a little too quickly. It's a patient game they have to play. There's still plenty of time for them to get this all-important goal. It's with Davis now. A penalty given. A penalty given for the foul on Paul Davis. Davis and it's Tilson who brings him down and Lee Dixon uh, with five goals this season four of them from the penalty spot who has to face Jan Steschkal Ray Wilkins giving the Czech goalkeeper a little bit of advice so the pressure still builds on Lee Dixon a crucial moment this in Arsenal's season Dixon with the shot, and a goal! Sure shot, Lee Dixon, right into the corner of the Rangers' net, and relief for Arsenal right around Hyde as they go into the lead by a goal to nil. Side. Smith with a header. Good play again by Arsenal. Sinter. And driven in quickly. Arsenal throw. There's a great run here by Winterburn and by uh, Limpar. And the flick header by Smith easily held by the keeper. Davis. Dixon in here. No penalty given there. It's a funny way that looked as much a penalty as the first one, I must say. But so that might have been a shove indeed. It looked very much a shove by Brevet. And suddenly Barker's on the loose. And suddenly Sinton's gone through the middle as well. Davis was there just stopping that ball from getting through to Peacock on the far side. And Arsenal certainly must be aware of that sort of breakaway as a possibility. Long clearance by David C. Campbell, great save, Masson! It's 2-0. Campbell suddenly in the clear, a thundering shot, superbly saved by Stasekow, suddenly it bounced for him beautifully there, what a good bit of goalkeeping, and Merson just there to pick up the pieces, and Arsenal two ahead. Time added on now, 
as Alan Smith gets up there. Kevin Campbell tries to get in. And his volley goes away amongst the Arsenal supporters at the clock end. Another look at the watch. There goes the final whistle. A vital victory for Arsenal by two goals to nil. They really steamrolled over Queen's Park Rangers over 90 minutes. They played some good football in the process. There's no uh, disputing that. They were just beginning to look a bit anxious when the penalty award came, and Lee Dixon slotted that one home early in the second half. And then Paul Merson added a second soon after it, after an excellent save by Station Hull from Kevin Campbell. Arsenal, for all the pressure, deserved the victory, but a lot of credit too for the battling qualities and the team spirit of Queen's Park Rangers. Final score then here on this crucial night in the League Championship. Arsenal 2, Queen's Park Rangers 0. So it's still three points. Uh, Liverpool are at least guaranteed to be playing in Europe next season, that's for sure now. Probably in the UEFA Cup, possibly in the Champions Cup. It all depends on the next three games. Liverpool have got two away compared to one for Arsenal. But Liverpool do play the two FA Cup finalists, Forest and Spurs. Maybe catching them at the right time will be important. Who knows? But the destination of the championship depends on Arsenal. I believe I've got the best footballers. And I just feel maybe some of them this season have been feeling sorry for themselves. It's been a traumatic season for Liverpool Football Club. People forget we played 35 games and lost one. I mean, uh, that is very, very consistent and, uh, you know, it would be nice to sort of win a few, the, a few more games that we've drawn, but then the league would have been won. So uh, we're setting this, uh, this finish up, you know, for the, you know, the good of football, you know. We have three games left and we must be all of them, hoping that they slip up. But at the end of the day, um, we've now qualified for Europe, which is a big thing for this club. We've been missing for too long and I think the feeling throughout European football, not just, not just British football, um, we want of delight because Liverpool have been missed on the European scene. Well, if there were points for style, Liverpool would be that uh, little bit closer tonight, but uh, it remains three points with a superior goal difference for Arsenal. Well, thankfully, we can take uh, a detached view of the relegation scene in the, in the first division. Derby are already down. Either Luton, Sunderland or Aston Villa will join them. Uh, Villa at home to Manchester City tonight, who actually sealed Derby's fate uh, on Saturday due to extraordinary circumstances. Niall Quinn's 20th goal of the season was the prelude to a remarkable sequence of events that saw Tony Coton sent off and Quinn saved Dean Saunders' penalty. Brilliant piece of goalkeeping. The big fella was back up front at Villa Park tonight. The commentator is Alan Parry, City in the light shirts, going from right to left. And Tony Coton with the free kick. Brennan, Quinn, good football again by Manchester City, and White in a dangerous position here, and he scored! David White has given Manchester City the lead, only five minutes gone. And the warning signs were there even before the ball went into the net. White had already got himself into a good position moments before this and caused problems to Nigel Spink with a cross on the near post. This time his speed took him away from his defender and his finishing was crisp. What a blow for Aston Villa, having lost here on Saturday against Wimbledon. That has done nothing to calm their nerves at all, losing a goal so early on. Was that handball, meantime? There was a loud appeal from Chris Price. They're still complaining, the Aston Villa players. And watch out for the player in the penalty area here. I think it was Brennan. Daly, Price. Daly again, urged to use his speed. Gets it back from Penrice. Look for Platt, and that's a good ball for Olney. Good goalkeeping, and Coton got there at the second attempt. Gage denied by Ward's interception, and Villa get nothing out of it. Cowan's forward. Daly's going to chase this all the way and put pressure on Redmond, but the Manchester City captain was very calm. City's youngest ever skipper, incidentally, still only 23. A good header forward and White's got himself in again. It's a splendid second goal. David White. That was 
superb finishing. A huge kick downfield by Coton here. The bounce deceiving the Villa man. The flick on again from Quinn. And White with a lovely lob over Nigel Spink. Villa needs something straight away. Perhaps only can provide it. Coton's denied him again. Nielsen. Good ball. Platt's on side. Oh, dear, dear me. David Platt can't believe it. That ball seemed destined for the back of the city net. Ward. Heath. And points it outside him. Good football from Manchester City. And in it goes again to the far post to Quinn. He looked for White. It breaks to Ward. Oh, tremendous effort. When the ball was nodded down by Quinn, Ward caught that with venom. Ward. White is onside. Brennan and Heath arriving in the middle. Brennan! It's 3 0. And again, stemmed from the pace of David White. This time in a wide position on the wing, looking up and delivering the perfect ball. Heath let it run on. Brennan side footed it at home. Now it's Penrice. Unlucky. Hill just took it off his foot. He's still battling away. But it's, no! It's a penalty, is it? There was a fearful melee here as Penrice pulled the ball back. Now, was that handball on the line by Redmond? It seemed a bit of a harsh decision, but that was the verdict. And I'm sure that's what the referee decided. Coton faces a penalty. David Platt taking it. And getting the goal. Villa pull one back. Coton dismayed at the award and dismayed at almost keeping it out. He got his fingers to it. But David Platt made sure of success for the seventh time this season from the penalty spot. That's a good header. Quinn finding the hat-trick man. White. Quinn wants it back again. White tries. He's got another. Oh, it's an amazing night for David White. An outrageous goal. As Spink and everyone else was expecting a cross to the far post for Quinn. White thought, well, it's been one of those nights for me. I'll have a crack myself. And why not? Sneaked in between goalkeeper and near post. His fourth, City's fifth. We got off to a good start. I got the goal early on, and uh, Gunny did superbly for the second one. So uh, two was two was good, and that was you know that was my fiftieth goal for the club, which I was really pleased about. And uh, the lads were just saying at half time, just you know keep going, and uh, you'll get your hat trick. And I, I just tried to be patient, and uh, really as they came forward chasing the game at the end, I was lucky enough to get the other two.